Fannie Mae is taking over the Washington Shores Village Apartments on Jacobs Place in Orlando. Channel 9's George Estevez went along with the team that is trying to make it safer for families. It's a first meeting. So we made contact with residents to assure the families. Get this information, let us know what's going on. They will see results. You know, you can call us anonymously in 24 hours. Like this single mother and her 13-year-old. We barely sleep at night sometimes. They be shooting, arguing, fighting. They live in Washington Shores at Jacob's Place, once managed by PDQ, which went under, leaving this place riddled with crime. It open alcohol, drugs, uh, vi uh, you know, violent acts. Uh, people get hurt. Fannie Mae took possession of the property and hired the Critical Intervention Service, who will provide 24-hour security for hundreds of apartments where some struggling families are trying to improve their lives. The MCC is going to come. We're going to bring it right down the center of the, of the whole community so that it's in the middle. of It's right in the heart of it so that everybody gets to see it, everybody gets to feel it, and then, they, then we spread out from there. This is time for deployment now. So yeah. every, every so often you'll have another group of officers over here, right. and they're going to meet you, and they're going to run. But I ain't going to be out there no, 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 three o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, daytime hours, right? Yeah. That's good. You know, yeah, that's real good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I just want to give you the heads up. They, they realize. I got kids that I keep in the house, and I can't want all Wilmer's drive with my mom. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay exactly. you know, that's my three-year-old. I can't keep how how I'm supposed to have a three-year-old out here. She come out here with my three-year-old, and they shoot. Well, my thirteen-year-old. We'd have been for school, coming and going from the store, shoots and everything, and it's like really, we come from the store, get back here, I'm like, oh my gosh. I don't even. I remember that. Okay. Well, basically, we're at Washington Shores Apartments today. Uh, this is a property that's been under foreclosure. Uh, the previous ownership um, obviously allowed the the property to. Uh, go down uh, to say the least. There's a lot of physical disorders out here. We have lights that are not working. We have buildings that are falling apart. We have landscaping that hasn't been done for months. Uh, we have trash all over the place to include glass. Uh, and we have kids that are actually living here and families. So our purpose here today is to be able to bring a multitude of resources from CIS officers to network with uh, residents to understand that we're on the property, we're reclaiming the property, uh, we're getting all the negative elements out, and we're going to be here for them. On top of that, we're bringing resources like tow trucks, landscaping crews, uh, maintenance staff. We're going to get some of these uh, units boarded up. We're going to get these abandoned vehicles out. We're going to get the, the grass cut. We're going to get uh, all of the trash picked up, make it a better place to live, have residents start uh, feeling better about living here, uh, and with management, getting people that don't belong here uh, off the property. Uh, so our purpose is to bring symmetry back to uh, this community, bring it back to be organized, uh, get the people who belong here here and get the people who don't out. Uh, you know, it's progressively gotten more and more run down over the years. It's uh, you know, 13 years ago, you probably had more people living in the community, living in the neighborhood, living in the apartment complex. And now you have fewer people living here, but more people hanging out and just, um, you know, really causing a problem for the residents that do want to do good, that are trying to, you know, better themselves and, you know, maintain a certain lifestyle where they don't deal with drug dealers and, 
you know, people shooting at each other and things like that. So unfortunately, it's not the people that live here all the time that cause the problems. It's the people that are coming through and, you know, setting up shop and you know, committing criminal acts. So, uh, so uh, what do you think of the CIS operation out here? It's been fantastic. It's uh, amazing how quick. It's like one of those uh, home makeover shows where stuff happens in 24 hours and you get you know, 40, 50 guys together and you got the security team, you know, checking out with everybody, finding out who lives here, who doesn't, who the problem uh, starters are. You got maintenance crews in here, you know, mowing the yards and boarding up uh, abandoned buildings and buildings that are, have been condemned. And it's uh, made a difference. It's like the uh, broken window effect. You know, you get a broken window in a community and it starts to go downhill, but start fixing things up and, you know, boarding up those windows and mowing the grass and playing football with kids, it makes a big difference in the community. Can you tell the dog? No. Actually, tomorrow what we're going to have a barbecue for you guys, okay? So, so we're to the camera. Over there, and it looks like uh, upon the pulling out of property, I uh, made contact with an unknown black male walking through the courtyards, made contact with him, and he admitted to me that he lives at a neighboring property and he was just cutting through the premises. Uh, law enforcement is right around the corner, so I redirected him to law enforcement. They made contact with him, and we actually had a trespass warning. Uh, individual had uh, several prior arrest histories in the county and city. Uh, he was issued a trespass warning and sent on his way. So, you tell me, if I call this number right now, anytime you want. Yep, that and, number. And, and, and y'all going to be here in five minutes. However long we'll it takes to get No, y'all y'all already going to probably be here anyway. Yeah, I mean, if I'm way can. over there, it's going to take me long to get my, you know, fat self running over here in five minutes. So it might and take it, a little bit longer you can be than completely that. anonymous. You just yeah. call that number and say, hey, I got some jitterbugs out here causing trouble mm. outside of building, whatever. Mm -hmm. We'll send somebody over and take care of it. No questions asked. Can be advised she's out to for uh, possession of cases on 20 grams. And then when you can, so uh, you can pull that uh, physical address. Height, wow. tattoos. And where they say this possession of cannabis came from? They say it's right here or something? Is that your purse or phone is in there? you have anything on you? No. Uh, we had a group of juveniles over here that seemed to be uh, playing football. We went over to make contact with them, see if we could get in on the game with them, kind of help establish and uh, uh, make for a better positive working relationship with the juvenile population here. And it appears that some of the uh, social breakdowns that we encounter with some residents in depressed neighborhoods, they, have, they are somewhat reluctant to engage in a positive way with law enforcement or uniformed authority figures. So they essentially advised they were not interested in playing ball, but that's not uh, atypical. That is something that over time, as we start to have more frequent contacts on a positive level, that we'll be able to break down those barriers and we will find ourselves uh, engaging in a social manner with the juveniles, be playing ball or helping them with homework assignments and things of that nature. So this reluctancy at the front side is not uh, out of the norm given this environment, but over time we will be able to win the hearts and minds of this community. Be advised, you got a black male 13 P from Alpha on the Bravo on Bike Eastern. The management just gave, gave up. I don't know what the situation is with the management. I mean, you could ask the management that, and uh, we find them and we can talk to them.
Uh, what's going on is uh, we set up a barbecue event for the community to come out so that we could sit down with them with some food and talk to them about what's wrong with their units and get a list of all the things that need to be repaired and what their concerns are so that we get a better idea and, and uh, of what their issues and at the same time try to figure out how to develop a relationship that is going to be impacting. So right now you're seeing the community come out, we're going to feed them, we're going to talk to them, we're going to make a list of what needs to be, to, to be addressed and then we're going to work with management to get a result. Raise this thing for you. You know, we're probably going to get a rush right after I pull out the spot. That's why I say this tea it. What do we got cooking? Uh, that's pork. Um, pork loin, we're going to chop it up, make it pulled pork sandwiches, and some um, chicken. I think it's good they're protecting our children. They finally somebody stepping up, looking out for the children, the women over here, the older people who have the problems with guys coming in the neighborhood, taking over our neighborhood, selling drugs, shooting at each other, harming our kids. So finally, thank God for God, we finally getting some done. Yeah, look, look at him. You believe him, right? You believe him, right? See if they want to get their narc guys in here. Well, they were rolling some blunts. Yeah. 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 Look at look at the mountain. These are the baggies, and what they're doing is they're consuming that out in the open, which shows that they don't have a fear of, of using. That is a lot of drugs in there. Yes, somebody's having some good times in there. <laughs> well, the, the one, the, the my, uh, Matthews guy, it was a gang initiation. He uh, wanted to be part of that. And, uh, just three o'clock in the morning. Pop, 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 three of them. Three o'clock in the morning.
Uh, we're about eight hours into this deployment. Uh, so far, we were able to issue uh, approximately nine trespass warnings, nine individuals that we made contact with uh, while on this property that we identified as non-residents, non-guests, no legitimate reason to be here. Uh, in conjunction with Orlando Police Department, we're able to issue those individuals trespass warnings. And if they do return in the future, they are subject to arrest for trespass after warning. Uh, in addition to those nine trespasses so far, we've also had two arrests made. Uh, one of them was for an outstanding warrant for a drug charge, and the other one is still more information pending. So uh, that is pretty consistent with these areas that we deploy into. Usually a high expectation of trespass warnings issued and some arrests as a result. Orange. You want an orange one? All right, there's an orange one. All right, who's next? Can you get one yet? You want red, strawberry, or cherry? You want strawberry? Nobody ain't no tell us all this. I like my grandkids having a good time. And this is what this was all about the kids. All about the kids. Good neighborhood. And everybody happy. Kids happy. They fed. Or they're gonna have a great time tomorrow. You guys wanna go post crisscross? Yeah, you guys are crisscross. You guys are gonna crisscross midfield. Alright? You're gonna crisscross midfield and after you crisscross, hit the sidelines and go straight. Alright, ready? Alright, ready? Come on, come on. Motion, 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 motion. Yeah. <laughs> 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 About eight hours ago, uh, children did not want to play football play with each other, they all want to stay inside, away from outside, and you kind of see what's going on now. Okay, we've been conducting stop operations at Washington Shores uh, apartments for approximately 10 hours now. Uh, we have uh, 12 different uh, units divided within zones within on property. So far, we've been very successful. We're getting a lot of positive feedback from residents. Uh, we have kids outside playing ball, uh, we have grass that's been cut, we have garbage that's been thrown away by maintenance crew, and we've had uh, uh, apartments that have not been habitable uh, go ahead and secured by the maintenance crews as well. Uh, right now we've been very receptive, a lot of the uh, negative elements we've gotten off property. Uh, what we're trying to monitor now during the nighttime hours is uh, obviously there's going to be some type of um, uh, probe techniques where uh, the criminal element is going to try to challenge us, possibility of challenging us. Uh, so we got to be cautious now to be able to see what type of resistance uh, during nighttime hours we're going to receive and then adapt to them from there. So we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll go from there. Hard to find out about it, so pretty good word of Lord. I'm going to make a little tag for it. All right. This is all your jewelry? Mm -hmm. shit I seen on cable. They go through, through walls and all with that shit. Mm -hmm. I seen a machine you in You look through walls with that? Shit, Man, I don't know where y'all ain't
and uh, we had uh, one of our uh, officers locate a memory SD card on the ground. We loaded it up, and sure enough, we find pictures of guys posing with guns. So we're able to ID, ID that individual, and uh, he is confirmed to be residing at 2055 Echo, and uh, OPD is being processing a uh, warrant for a felon in possession of a firearm. So it seems to be a small caliber, possibly a 380, black in color, uh, from what we can tell from the pictures. Um, he also has an associate I don't have a name on, but Close, closer to the morning, uh, we ended up with uh, a lot of activity coming out, uh, residents coming out of their units, uh, and that would be around 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we did have to advise uh, certain people about uh, drinking and out in public. Uh, other than that, it was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was pretty quiet throughout the night.